books on the side this blue palace of solitude. And I'll be doing this new quest regarding the old hey, king. Do you have business with the court? Hmm. Absolutely not. That wing has been sealed for hundreds of years, and for good reason. They say the ghost of Pelagius the Mad still haunts it. Ghost or not, there are reminders of his dark rule that are best left buried away. I'll make an exception for you, but do not bring anything out when you leave. Too many dark deeds transpired in those halls. Yep. I won't forget what you've done for solitude. It's a fine day with you around. Ooh. Hmm. A question I am all too familiar with. One my very thanes ask often. They worry that Tullius is so focused on the war that he risks forgetting what's best for our people. The real irony is that, while General Tullius is certainly no Nord, the people of Skyrim would be lost without him. Trust is always difficult, especially for my people. Yet we must trust in Tullius' leadership. For what other choice do we have? Be well. Pray for solitude. Well, it's time to get in then. Yeah. It'll be an interesting quest. The enemies might be lurking somewhere within the walls. Ooh. What the? Oh, I couldn't. It goes right through me. Besides, I have so many things to do, so many undesirables to contend with, naysayers. Buffoons, how oh, rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade. Really? Oh, oh, what kind of message? A song? A summons? Wait, uh, I know. A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine. Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, Marjol. I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. Little joke, but seriously, what's the message? Where are you now? <laughs> By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Bolag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, huh? Huh? The ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, or was it one? Yes! Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> no matter! Honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, tiny, puny, expendable little mortal, actually think you can convince me to leave? Because that's crazy! You do realize who you're dealing with here. <laughs> oh, pardon me. What are you saying, something? I do apologize. It's just that I find myself suddenly and irrevocably bored. I mean, really. Here you stand before Shea Gorath himself, Daedric Prince of Madness, and all you deem fit to do is deliver a message. How sad. Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, 
How much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. <laughs> On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Okay, what's good? Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. Care to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have you any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius III. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sneaking. Sure. Or you could use... The Wabachak! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> this mad old man is so funny. Man. Oh boy. Oh yes. Wubba Jack. Get a quick save it right here. You've headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. Sneak. Hey, hey, bro. Well, no enemies are coming out of the seats. Oh, I guess I entered the wrong way first. Maybe I should have gone here first. Nice. Ah! Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. But the deepest, Ooh. keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his fragile cell. The self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. Over here. Wonderfully done! Pelagius is finally ready to love himself and continue his experience. I'm all ears. <laughs> I'm all ears. Nope, business here is done. Looks like this spot is left. Oh, good choice! Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> you might find it less so. You see, Pelagius' mother was, well, let us say, weak. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she feel the cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned at a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered. Anyone. The objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabaja to defeat the enemy, 
and they do the same. is under the delusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out, sir. And we're that much closer to home. Oh, nice. I don't know what I did over there, but it was, it was a quick victory. Ah! It's getting cool. What about you? <laughs> nice, bro. <laughs> nice, bro. Oh, feed. Damn, I'm still a vampire, you in the dream. So, okay. What's gonna happen now? Should I attack it? So go with this this side. Okay, frustrating. something to crow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no yeah. time. Whoa, what the? I can't open this chest? Soldier later. Pelagius, Pelagius. That was a goat. Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Look at this old, 
old man's eyes, it's freaking white. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free to go. Bye. They've been known to change my mind. So, go. Really? Pelagius the third. Now, surely even you know about Pelagius's decree. On his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired. He forbade death. That's right, death outlawed. Inside the mind of Pelagius, silly. Oh, is it your Pelagius Septum the Third? Once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the shivering up. Inside the mind of... Oh, is it your... Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Close. I want to get out. Check. Hmm. Fixed. Ah, but no matter. So, I... They've been known to change my mind. So, go. Luggage. Where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy time. Please, take pity on her. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. All right, then. Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? Yay. As for you, my little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Wabajack. As a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Huh? Well, I guess that didn't work. Whoa, would you look at this place? So paid the thieves. Oh, hello. Just tidying up. I am the Jarl Steward. If you have... Certainly. What did you have in mind? Fish thing. Sure. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you need? No. Nope. I'd be glad. And of course, don't forget. Now, what would you like to purchase? I won't forget what you've done for Solitude. 
With the passing of my dear husband Torek, the weight of the Jarl has fallen to me. Bandits kill me. I want to kill more bandits. Nothing to be done over here, so... Sibyl Stentor has a grasp of magical theory that Who's I would... That? No doubt most folk in Skyrim consider the dragons terrifying. I make sure Erica keeps breathing. No, you are free to leave. Not talking to you. I want to, I want to get more quests done. Set, set the lighthouse off, and then in the afterwards, I'm gonna explore that cave. Curious over there. There's the lighthouse. Oh, and the Corsair ship. If I sh take shots from the lighthouse to Corsair ship, then, uh, then I should be able to kill them. those workers. Let's see. Where are those men at? Ooh, ooh. I'm just going to go for the cavern. Y'all read, bro. I'm 
I'm gonna return to him later in time. No, no worries. So I just gotta get up there and then go through the woods. And then go for the cabin. Interesting. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna increase something. Where was it? Restoration? And then restoration of stamina. No! No! God damn! Yeah, increase the stamina. there. Just gonna keep on pushing. And you'll see that cave. The cave sign on the top of the map. My sensor guy, you know. And that's where the cavern is. There you go. You know, this cave seemed peaceful at first. But then it's gonna get very nasty in the coming times. First, I witness this hunter. Ooh. Rabbit. Let me hunt you. Yes, that's right. That's freaking right, bro. What's underneath this place? Pretty much nothing. <laughs> you know, I'll keep hearing that water sound, so I'm just going to reload. There you go. Nice, bro. Got you all.
got you all, bro. And then, what's gonna get me next is. Oh, there's a deer that the wolves have killed. Another rabbit. Is that Spriggan? Or is you is you can maybe maybe see um what is that thing? Nice! Amazing! Kill him with two shots. Ooh! Ooh! Snip! Ooh! Snip! Let's freaking... Whoa! How the hell did Saber do it again? The heck was that there? Very scary. Oh, shoot. Yes. Alright now, time to finish them all. Spriggans, more spriggans. Yeah, bro, that's right. What's up? I should raid the other spriggan as well. Oh, what the heck? With the very freaking getting it. Seriously, dude. Stamina and the... Uh, what was that? The charge. I mean, it's just Natron, dude.
This mega scarecrow. Call it soldier, yep. Just really far across. Oh man, freaking cave bears. Like I said, I've changed the freaking game settings. Now I see the cave bears. Friggin' Matron.
Ooh, best view. while the bull is growing. Nope, I'm gonna move forward with my mace and charge up the mace. first. Oh, finally I meet my horse. Well, what do you say? So he's all the way out there, huh? Like you had no the effects have already been felt without the lighthouse the ice runner my sister Deja will be at the wreck with our black blood marauders she knows to expect you Deja. wreck of the ice runner Okay, I see. I see now. What time is it right now? One thirty one eighty. I can 
complete that mission and then return back and set sell my goods. Wait a second. Yeah, bro. I'm selling them first. That's trouble. Where is he? There he is. Divine's blood. Look at it. That's real Nord craftsmanship, that is. Let me show you an old trick I learned as a scout. Makes it harder for the enemy to notice you. Sneak. Ooh, 81. It's Damn. best you leave me be. Let's see. Let's see my sneaking skills then. I'll be the sneak master. Assassin's Blade. Silence. Shadow Warrior. No, I wouldn't. Well, I'm just going to call it quits here. I'll go to that place tomorrow. Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do.